three and a half weeks ago when Helene came through and there was flooding, this area was completely cut off. We're talking no cell reception, no power. They couldn't get down to Chimney Rock. They had no idea what the rest of the state was doing. But in the middle of all of that, this tiny grill and restaurant right here on Lake Lore turned out to help in a major way and became a hub for the community to see one another, to find out what's going on, and just to get back to a little bit of normalcy. Take a look. The really neat thing was when we got here, uh, we found out that our girls had had uh, come. That's one of the most moving things. They knew what to do. It's an act of compassion that gets lured market and grill owner Paul Brock emotional. They had come down here and started serving people already and taking care of folks. When Helene hit, he and his wife in Bat Cave were trapped, like so many others, for days. But seeing the devastation to their home, his employees, mainly Becky Camp and Erica Stafford, knew two things. They wanted to help, and they had a freezer at the market and grill full of food. So that weekend, they started cooking. She's like, what if nobody shows up? And then a day went by, and then like the next day, it was like, bigger than we imagined ourselves. It was like, wow, <laughs> like everybody was here. Camp and Stafford started feeding the community free of charge. And now almost four weeks later, thanks to donations and volunteers, lunchtime here at Lourdes is on the house for construction workers, the state highway patrol, and those who need it. What we've been doing is just trying to trying to do what we can to, to keep our sense of community, and, uh, and we've had that. What they've given, they've gotten back tenfold in support with donations. When we needed generators, we got generators. When we needed Starlinks, we got Starlinks. When we got, we, we got more water than we know what to do with. The donations help heal the hurt, but make no mistake, the scars of Helene are deep and painful. Just across from the grill, a thick layer of silt still coats much of the ground while the debris in the lake serves as a constant reminder of what was washed away. It's, um, this is a beautiful place. It's, uh, it's been changed, but we also were working to get it back. They're rerouting the river back to where it was. They're building the roads that have been washed out and the bridges, but you know, we've got a long way to go on all this. The fear now, as Helene fades from headlines and the temperatures drop, is that the donations will dry up too something they're already seeing signs of. We had a couple stop by and they live here in Lake Lore and they still have no power, they have no water and they were looking for um, a small propane tank and we didn't have one to give them because right now that's their only source of heat. That's why those in Lake Lore are hoping people won't forget about them in the months to come and that the tourism will return. But in the meantime, the community will keep working and they have no doubt, thanks to those like Lord Market and Grill, that they'll be back and better than ever. The way to win a war is to feed those troops and they're feeding us. Everybody's just worked so good together. We've all just come together and we've made it happen. I mean, we're getting cleaned up. We're gonna be all right. And that is the bottom line. They are going to be all right, but it's going to take the whole entire community, the whole entire state, the country helping out the town of Lake Lord, the town of Chimney Rock. Here's what they want you to remember, though, and I'm going to kind of give you a look here. Even in the wake of destruction, the fact that we still have silt here, we have debris in the lake. This is still a truly beautiful place. Lake Lord, Chimney Rock, there's a lot of beauty here in western North Carolina, and the people here don't want the tourist to forget that when it comes time to come back here to spend your hard earned dollars, come back to keep these businesses alive. The worst case scenario, they say, is that something happens here like happened in Hawaii, where local business owners lost their land due to those fires and big corporations came in. They want to keep the small local business owners in business here. They want people to come back, spend their money so that the town of Lake Lord, the town of Chimney Rock, Western North Carolina as a whole can rebuild back and better than ever. And coming up in just a bit, we're going to talk to the owner here at uh, Lurd. You heard him there, Paul Brock. We'll talk to him. We'll also play a little bit more from our interview with one of the town commissioners here at Lake Lure, talking about that need for the business to come back. But guys, as we've been talking about, a lot of hope here as people continue to rebuild and come together in the face of unimaginable tragedy. Yeah, Julian, such an important reminder, too, that there are lots of areas with devastation that are still dangerous for a lot of people, but a lot of areas like where you're standing now, that's that's ready to see some guests. Yeah, we've been doing some stories that people, if you have a chance to go up, go up, 
spend some dollars there, also help out in those recovery efforts as well. And Julian, you, those people, they want people to come up and spend those tourist dollars. No, that's exactly right. Areas that are, are open for tourism, they want people to come back and spend the money. Not quite here in Lake Lord and Chimney Rock yet, but when they are open, they want people to come back. Don't be afraid, come here. They don't want to be remembered for the tragedy that happened here. They want to rebuild back in better than ever because let's face it, if you've been up to Lake Lord, you've been up to Chimney Rock, you've been to places like...